For the past year or so, we've been previewing the MC360 skin for Xbox Media Center. The release is finally here. We're going to take a closer look on this edition of Action Corp TV. Uh, welcome to Action Corp TV. I'm Sean. And I'm Seth. And we have gotten our hands on MC360 in its final form. Everybody's been watching this on the Xbox scene forums. Now the final edition has been released. And it has been nice to see this actually kind of flesh out from beginning to end like this. You know, we've been following it, uh, like Seth said, for quite some time now. So we've seen it go through a couple of different phases. Uh, and to actually see it uh, in its complete form now and see it uh, where it's going to be publicly released and available. Uh, it, it's kind of nice to see that into the project. Well, let's start with HD support. True HD support. 720p. Uh, Black Bolt says they do support 1080i, but it's not smooth. It's uh, running slow. He doesn't blame his skin as much as just the hardware limitations of the Xbox itself. Exactly. Um, and says you can you know you can set your movie player to play movies at 1080i. That doesn't create near as much of a problem as streaming the all the backgrounds and everything that the skin itself does. So if you're going to do HD, he recommends 720. Right. And I actually uh, am in the, the one of the problem areas where my television, my high def TV, only does 1080i or uh, 480p. I, I can't do 720, so I can see the difference between this. Uh, when you run in 720p, uh, as Seth does on his television, uh, you get the full benefit of, of HD widescreen uh, without any of the speed loss that the Xbox has. It's not his skin's fault, as he said. It is actually just the hardware in the Xbox is too old uh, to be able to do this kind of stuff in a 1080i environment. Uh, it still looks great in 720. It actually looks great in 480p. Yeah. Um, the, the crispness of the skin, the, the text, the layout of, the, of the, the blades, the graphics, the way it looks, looks wonderful uh, in any progressive scan resolution, but uh, widescreen is a welcome addition. Switching between blades and the skin is very smooth. Uh, the way to navigate from system to video, you know, your media, uh, your pictures, the settings in the skin, that stuff is just like the real 360 experience. Um, it's very easy to switch back and forth from blade to blade uh, or to even customize the different blades and the different settings that you need to use. Uh, you know how the editable favorites menu uh, in MC360, a lot of people have seen in, in different skins, they will have a sub-menu, a context menu at the bottom right that when you bring it up, you can have links to your favorite scripts and add-ons that you use. Um, now you can access that right from a system blade uh, that comes up in, three, in MC360 uh, to allow you to add your own favorites to that easily. Uh, before it was a little bit hard to do, uh, a little bit more difficult than people wanted. Now it's just a couple clicks and, and you have it right there at, at your disposal. The gamer card now updates automatically, or at least there's an option to. Uh, it, it's set to do it out on boot up, and Black Bolt warns it might give you a little pause uh, at the beginning, although I didn't experience it at all when we were doing that. Um, it, it automatically gives you the pop-up bubble saying Web Slinger signed in. Uh, it won't say Web Slinger for you. But, um, <laughs> and, it, and it goes ahead and, and updates the gamer card with the score and the gamer pick and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is very cool. I mean, being a, being able to see it when you manually did it in previous builds of this thing uh, was cool. But the fact that now I can go and get achievements on the 360, sign back into this thing, and it'll show me is just that much cooler. Uh, there are also other things you can do with that gamer card, like you were telling me about, which is for different blades, setting it between a weather blade, a system uh, info blade, I guess, with the IP and stuff, or your gamer card. Uh, again, per individual blade, you can have different cards. You also notice the new game saves manager uh, in this version of MC360. They switched it from using the Python script that a lot of the skins have been using, uh, and actually went to the the straight C++ code that's built into XBMC. So when it goes through and it uh, you know queries all your game saves and, and lays them out, checks it, you'll notice it's smoother, it's a little quicker, and it's a little more stable. Uh, some of the Python scripts have a tendency to hang sometimes when they're uh, you know enumerating through a lot of different things in a folder. You don't have that problem with this the C++ code that's actually in XBMC. So you'll see that seems a little bit more stable, a little bit more functional. On the XBMC Live blade, you'll notice the XBMC Live place. That's a place where Blackpool is set up to download scripts, 
look at your weather. The YouTube script is built in there. Mm -hmm. Once you get the skin, also be sure and keep an eye on the XBMC Live Place because there is going to be a Halo theme available for download really soon. Also on MC360 now, uh, they've enhanced the file browser on the system blade uh, to actually go through. A lot of people have seen the different ways you can browse you know, the C drive, your E, your F, different things like that. Look for your files, your movies, your scripts. Um, now that's a little more uh, like the 360 version of uh, the file browser. It, it's smooth, it's laid out well, uh, all the options are there. You can have your, your source and destination drives picked uh, just with a click of the triggers. Um, very, very nice. It was done very well and it's very usable now. Another feature that Black Bolt has added directly into the shutdown menu is a shutdown timer that's set for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes, or a custom. So I guess if you're running different programs or downloading, like you were telling me earlier, different things, uh, you can have it shut down whenever you want. Before you had to have a separate script to do it, uh, there was a shutdown timer script that you could download. Now it's built right into the skin. Some of the features that the skin has, but they aren't necessarily new to this new release, are things like custom backgrounds, being able to put any image you want in behind the different blades that are, they're all custom, each blade ha can have its own separate wallpaper, just like the 360, uh, which we kind of tooled around with early on, but it, it's a neat feature, really. Well, there's a lot of people, I think, that would want to kind of customize the skin, but maybe aren't savvy enough to, to you know, make a skin or... Uh, have it the way they want. This way, you know, they kind of can still do a little customization, maybe personalize it a little bit, and they don't have to know how to tweak all the XML files and stuff that make the skin up. When you've used it for a while, uh, MC360, and then you switch to your actual Xbox 360, and you're using the <laughs> same, you know, for all intents and purposes, the same interface. I mean, it, it, it is that comparable to it. Um, it's just really odd to, to see that functionality on your old Xbox that you've been using on your, your new system. If you're interested in MC360 and would like a copy, visit blackbolt.x-scene.com. Uh, there you're going to see Black Bolt's projects that he's working on, as well as be able to download the skin directly from the site. Well, thanks for watching us on this episode of Action Corp TV. We hope you enjoyed seeing uh, MC360 version 1. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to say to us or check out our forums, go to www.actioncorp.net. Or we'd love to hear from you if you'd like to email us at tv at actioncorp.net for any ideas for upcoming shows or anything else you'd like to see or let us know. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.